they will say when the dogs have met their day. To their shame and great dismay, Il Campione will have his way. Hello, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, oh, hey, ha we're going to uh, take this chest, and we're going to continue on with the Carnival, since that's kind of what we're stuck in right now, so. And it looks like the game was kind enough to put us right by the next challenge, so let's see what that is. I wonder why it's daytime, though. I thought, like, the whole thing would take place at night. Sir, why do you Step have right up! Come on, come on! It's time for a game of skill and agility. Who can capture the flag? Who shall win the prize? Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. All right, sounds simple enough. CTF, defeat your competition in a game of capture the flag. And we're on rooftops for some reason. Okay, so that's where the flag's gotta go. Oh, he's below me. I'm a God damn it. All right. Okay. So he has the flag, so we got to take the flag. And now we'll just run back to our base to score. Is our base really up? Oh, wait. Nope. I guess we gotta go up. <laughs> Which is annoying, but whatever. And then we gotta do this three times. You scored. It's the only scores. All right. We. Ow. Eh, whatever. <laughs> we'll go in the water. Let's see you capture me now. Oh, he's smart. He's, uh, he's teleporting. Wait, I tackled him. How does he have the flag? Get away from me. Uh. Wait, what? What? Why did it teleport me? Oh, that's annoying. All right. And we gotta start the beginning. Great. I'm guessing it didn't like that I threw him in the water, since that technically counts as killing him, probably. And the game probably took issue with that. God. No, that... Uh... There we go. Just trying not to kill myself here. All right. There we go. We'll magnetize to him and uh, keep going, I guess. Wait, why does he have the flag? I took it from him. Uh, this is annoying. Come on, climb. There we go. The rules of the 
this game does not play very well. Like, I get what they are trying to do, but it seems like even just, uh... Oh, and of course he's going to be faster than me. Whee! Na, 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 na. So we gotta use, like, the rules as far as when you can actually lock on to someone. <laughs> it just despawns him. Alright. Uh, at least it seems like both of our bases are on the, the rooftops here. Oh, he... Okay, does he still have the flag? I have the flag. Right. Opponent has the flag. Get over here. Holy shit, he really books it. Sir, your rubber banding is broken. Uh, this way. Okay, now he's slowed down a bit, but boy, does the game really make him, uh, open up that gap. Fuck off, we're playing a game. Get away. Alright, let's climb up. Oh, you just teleported there. I saw that, mister. I saw you cheat. Alright. Well, fortunately, he seems to have problems climbing, so... This flag is ours! And one more time for good measure, because rules of three, am I right? Why does he start on the ground, though? That's mildly annoying. Why did that hurt me that time, but not the other times? Oh dang, he's just knocking people over. Nope, get on the ladder. Oh, he scored. <laughs> he was just out of there. He, they really buffed his speed. Nope, nope. Motherfucker. All right. <sighs> oh, that's annoying. It would be nice if it, like, checkpointed you after you got a score. This shouldn't be that hard of a game, but it's annoying. I gotta find, like, a hay bale I can reliably what? drop down onto, really. Okay, so it did damage me. Such a grace. Man, 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 man. All right. And now we should be able to just climb. There we go. There's no prep time either. It's just, here, respawn, go. But then half the time the camera's not even pointing the right way to begin with. Alright. See, that time it didn't hurt me. Yeah, see, he's opening up this gap, and it's like, what the fuck? Because I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can go. Like, I get they're trying to make this, like, tense or whatever, but it's more annoying than anything. There we go. Hey, it's night again, too, so we got that going for us, at least.
There we go. Man, a lot of feathers we're going to have to get around here eventually. I do eventually need to do, like, a side jobs episode. I keep saying I'm going to do it, and then I somehow end up getting suckled into the, uh, the main story again. Actually. We're just going to do that. Come on. Get back here, you asshole. Uh, like, how am I supposed to catch him? I'm going as fast as I can. And now he, he's just going to go up the ladders and score, probably. Because his score point is, like, right up. Especially if I miss... Do not desynchronize me, for the love of God. Uh, there we go. What the... There we go. If this were a newer version of the game, it'd be like, don't even let the opponent score once. But fortunately, it's not, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> this dear God, he just zooms. He's got the zoomies. There we go. Whee! I won the game. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory. They totally know <laughs> it's us. All right, then we have the final game. Uh, Step right up and join the fight. Do you have what it takes to defeat your opponents? Who will last longest in the ring? Alright, well, first off, uh. Let's heal now. And restock our medicine. I do like the look of that container. That almost makes me want to model it and 3D print it and then coat it with, like, beeswax or something so I can actually use it as, like, a little medicine thing. But... Step right up and join the fight! Do you have what it takes to defeat your opponents? Who will last longest in the ring? Benvenute Lottatori! The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm, who will win the golden mask? Cheaters never prosper. Defeat every opponent. Alright, well, this should be pretty easy. Until we get the cheater. Woo! Uh, can I counter him? Okay, I can. It's only when he's using heavy weapons that I can't counter. Wow. <laughs> Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campione. Go on, Dan. Show him how sadly mistaken. All right, what do you got for me? All right. What's the matter, Dante? Thought you were supposed to be some kind of big cheese. Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Ah, we have. 
<laughs> so that's how it's going to be, eh? Ow. <laughs> Can I not? There we go. I was going to try to not kill him, but whatever. I guess the game does say kill him, so. Signore e signori, the games of Carnivale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot. The strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won, Lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <coughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. <laughs> All right. I'm actually. Let's see, where's the nearest fast travel point? Oh, I can't fast travel out. Okay. In that case, I'm going to take this codex real quick before we continue on. But wow, that was a uh, pretty blatant cheating there. I get the feeling uh I say, I get the feeling uh the populace is not going to be too distraught when we take down this new doge. I need you to be quiet, sir. Whee! There we go. Except now I'm on the wrong side of the building. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, if only this game could read my mind. No. Okay, we can do this. Agreed. The the bloodless way. We still sweet wine and the best sweeter. There we go. I don't think I can get that. I like that. Sorry, I don't think I can get that. There we go, so that's in the codex page. We may as well go straight to Leonardo and have it uh, decoded so we can maybe get some extra health. I don't know how far away we are from the next uh, bit of health. Dude, you're not welcome. There we go. This is I had hoped. Keep away from me, Phil. Scars. What did this do you? Here we go. Avada. I think I must have gotten whatever's in there already. There's another Templar messenger down. Art. Did I purchase all the art yet? I think I. Or, oh no, this isn't even... 
this isn't art. This is the uh, merchant. So, hey, new knife belt. Honestly, I know this is like the canon, but this actually looks really Remember good. Remember to visit me often. Fashion is a whimsical mistress. Uh, but you can't really see it. Eh, uh, we'll go back to the Assassin White. I'm more coming in soon. Don't be a Maybe it's just the lighting, but... It didn't... Excuse me. It didn't seem very visible. Alright. Repair all... We could buy more, but I'll wait until we can actually get back home. All right, we have bullets now. Well, one man's coin is as good as another's. I just always feel like these people are judging me. Leonardo, Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Ha ha! You found another one! How exciting! Uh, hmm. Up. Then you just take the inverse. There! Alright. Codex page deciphered. Alright, now let's head back and uh, take this next memory. But yeah, I really gotta do, like, just a side quest <laughs> episode where I do all the side quests, go and explore the, um, you know, all the, um, the buildings and get, like, the, the secret codes on them and stuff. So I am, I feel like I'm pretty far behind in some of that. Go away, Templar Messenger. All right, we got to finish the Carne Valley so I can actually go back and pick up my money before the sister takes it all. <laughs> all right. You got anything good on you? Didn't think so. Man, they pay their guard shit. <laughs> It's amazing they're so loyal for how shittily they're paid, but I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're doing things with like drugs and stuff, like uh, in Assassin's Creed One, that one guy that was drugging everyone. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister. You told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Va bene. Having a blast. Steal the golden mask from Dante Moro to enter the party and assassinate Marco Babagio. Okay. It would be nice if there was an option where you could toggle, like in the post game, if you could toggle Carnival to just always be on. Because I do kind of like the ambience. Alright. And bloop. There he is. So I think I know what they want me to do. Oh. Okay, wow, he is, uh... He 
he is very perceptive. Why is he just carrying an axe? All right, lead on. Fine. All right, go. If I'm right about how this There we go. So I should have the masks now. Okay, that was kind of fun actually. Ah, this might be one of our only times to uh get a view during festival, so or carnavale as they call it. Ooh. There's a tomb here, so we'll have to come back to this. Uh, come on. Oh, ideally it would be marked in my map now, but I guess we'll see. Uh, do I have to go the other way? Okay, good. I was going to say, do I have to go all the way around, but... Fortunately, it doesn't lock us out of viewpoints uh, when we're in the middle of a memory. Uh, okay. Is there no... Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, there's got to be a something somewhere. <laughs> oh, righty, righty, righty. And here we go. The Carnaval. Oh, this mask is bouncing in there a little bit. <laughs> Buonasera, signore. is on a boat just offshore he's set to make a speech in a few minutes use my girls until then move with them to stay out of sight wow these uh uh shit for the first time in 11 years of business <laughs> my reputation Find him. Oh, yeah, they totally know who's, uh... What? No! <laughs> I like how you can continue to play in the, uh... In, like, the failure state. I don't actually know how to use the contextual. Ben, that means to die of loneliness if someone doesn't come you save me. How to do that? Then make the best of life. Then some people can save. There we go. Do I just wait? Is this? Current objective, remain anonymous. Okay. I will not die for this cause. Well, I like how it spawned a... Because the game set me to, like, full notoriety, it spawned a corrupt official. And he's just walking in circles. Signore e signori, I present to you 
the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! He's not leaving the boat. We will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. We'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. This could be fun. I'll be waiting for you back. All right. The brothel, my son. We all know we have come through trouble time, but we have come through them together, and Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all, but. We have weathered the shift with grace and tranquility. It is no easy thing to lose a doge in the prime of his life, and to the cruelty of an assassin who still hides in our midst. Indeed, we all loved Mocheni Godil. He was a friend to us all, and he shall be missed. But did any of us truly love his policies? Did we feel safer under his watchful gaze? Did we believe in the road that he was guiding us down? Or were you beginning to be afraid like I was? Afraid that Mochenigo could not see clearly, that he was not prepared for what was to come? Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you, I can see down that road. I know where we're going. It's a beautiful place, and we're going there together. The future I see for Venezia is a future of strength, a future of wealth. We shall build our fleet so strong, our enemies will fear us like never before. We will expand our trade routes across the sea, bringing home spices and treasures like we've never dreamed. And I say to those who stand against us, be careful what side of the line you choose. Because either you're with us or you're on the side of evil. And we will harbor no enemies among our friends. We will hunt you down. We will root you out. We will destroy you. All right, I think that's enough of that. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Wow. He killed her. Wow, they're killing all of them. Maybe I was supposed to wait for a bigger firework or something, because I timed it so the fireworks were going off, but whatever. I'm not too worried. We'll kill all these people for killing all the women. Because, dear God. There we go. And get out of here. Yeah, no mercy. You guys were assholes, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's right. Whee! <laughs> ah, he really does not want to be grabbed. All right. Come on. There we go. You have been avenged, girls. Can I go up here now? Yes. Uh, what? Five? Okay, bullshit. I call bullshit on that. I assume if he had a codex page, we auto took it, but. There we go. We're completely anonymous. And we may as well, uh. We can take a, uh. Oh, do, 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 do. Nope, okay. We may as well grab this tower while we're here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but ended up working out. There we go. I will say Assassin's Creed, well, Ubisoft in general, is very good at making very beautiful environments. Regardless of what you think about, like, gameplay, story, whatever, the environments are always very beautiful. Uh, damn it. Alright, well, let's kill Dante. I get the feeling, yeah, okay, I can't, I can't counter him. I kind of figured he'd be a big guy in that regards. Oh, yeah, I'm going to guess he's immune to grabs. Ow. Damn it. Honestly, move, move. My brother embarrasses himself when he's this big. He's got no right to speak of this world. It's the Doge. He is Doge in name only. And it's Venetian money he spends. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen to leave. Your father may have thought he'd never amount to this. May have foisted his political ambitions on him. But it doesn't matter, because given where things stand. I never wanted to be Doge. Then it seems you have succeeded wildly. Power is more than wealth. Does my brother truly believe he was chosen for any reason other than his riches? He was chosen for his yeah. wisdom and leadership. And this is what he does with such wisdom? And for a light show, he hides away in the palazzo while the city comes apart at the seams. And then he thinks some expensive explosions will make people forget all their problems. The people love Spain. It's human nature. You'll see. I don't know who it's talking, but... Oh, is he invulnerable? I think he's invulnerable. Okay. That's unfortunate. Come on. Oh, because I'm in combat, probably.
There we go. Oh, fine, I'll escape the area. You should not be up here, Stolto. There, don't let. I'm going to need you to be quiet, sir. Knock this poster off. There we go. A little disappointed we couldn't kill Dante, but I guess he's supposed to uh, to be a character later. I will. Alright, so let's head back to, uh, to whatever her name was <laughs> place. A uh, sister or something or other. The sister who makes the hearts grow firmer. That's all I, <laughs> that's all I remember. All right. There we go. Come on. Knock and be knock. Beautifully done. Che spettacolo! A true hero. You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ezio. Alright, I assume we're going to, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I can be such a child sometimes. Serenissima Republica di Venezia, 1486. Serene Republic of Venice, 1486. Hey, we're back at this bridge. I need to get really quiet all of a sudden. Are we getting pulled out? It's you, it's you. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. Okay. <laughs> they just wanted to do a thing. But now, um... We can finally fast travel. Because we need to go home and collect our money and spend our money. Uh, Monteregononi Villa. Oh no, a whole hundred florins. It's going to break the bank. Alright. Uh, so we got some things to drop off. 
that we got. We're going to have so much money. I suppose I should have visited Da Vinci because he probably had a codex page, but oh well. There we go. All right, let's add to the wall. Ooh, that added quite a few. Oh, we're only down two pages. I wonder how many of those are going to be, uh, like, story-related. Because I think that at most there's only, like, one more in Venice that we know about. At most. and There might not even be that. Uh, let's go see the merchants. And see what we can buy. Okay, armor. We can upgrade to a full set of the Mes Mesaglias. There we go. And it's like half the price if we had started buying these in Venice, so that's kind of nice. Again, not that we need the money, but... Ooh, the Sword of Altair. Alright, well, we'll buy that. We'll replace our bullet. Your coin seems genuine. Come see what's <laughs> Add seven thousand value. Ooh, we can upgrade to a large poison vial. A pleasure, Messeri. Come again. Healing. So we'll up I I I know uh, I don't use a lot of poison in this playthrough. It is very underutilized by me. I do use poison a lot in uh That should heal quickly now. In um like Assassin's Creed 4 because they're like it works as like a dart uh that turns people berserk for 30 Perhaps seconds, which I think it's kind of the same here where you melee except you melee them, they go berserk for 30 seconds and then die. But, or however many seconds, but it it just was a lot more useful in four because you could do it from a distance as opposed to having to be there, which I mean you have to get away really fast, I would imagine. Otherwise, their first target is just going to be you, and then that's going to aggro everyone else. Do we have feather? Oh, we haven't picked up any feathers. Okay. There we go. So this is the Potsy Conspirators. Um, here we go. Marco Babagio. So there's only a couple left, I think. I do like these portraits and stuff. I'm kind of disappointed, at least for four. Um, like, some of this stuff kind of just did not get the attention it does in this game. Like, you don't get portraits of your assassin targets, uh... Honestly, the, the cove upgrades are basically like an afterthought. <laughs> you know, but uh, I do really love this. Uh, so with that, I wish I could just... Oh, can I? No. So I think we're going to call it here for now. And... Um, I think we're going to take a break and have the next couple episodes be side job missions. Or maybe I'll just do one giant episode of side jobs and side quests and all that. Um, oh, actually, one thing I did want to look at is uh, our sister to see what our completion values are. I like how she's basically the your completion tracker for uh, for the game. So let's take a look at that real quick. I want to look at the book. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? All right. Yeah. So we have eighty-seven percent completion. So 
This for some reason this game feels shorter than Assassin's Creed one. Maybe it's because I'm not collecting 500 flags, but yeah, we got all the shops. We got all the renovations. As far as the collections go, we're almost done with the codex pages. We got over a quarter of the feathers. We got both models now. I'll have to take a look at those real quick. We have two-thirds of the seals. We have most of the paintings. I'm going to have to see what we need to do to get the rest of the paintings. But uh, we have seven portraits of Ezio's targets. All models collected 1,000. Uh, we're only missing one weapon in the armor of Altair. Which I think the armor of Altair is locked up in the thing. I don't know what weapon we're missing, but maybe that's also an unlock or something. So as far as like collecting items and stuff, Ezio. we're pretty much there. Uh, I think the models are in here. Oh, okay, so our other... Okay. Oh, the models are Da Vinci. They're from Da Vinci, okay. Because, yeah, the first one is his carriage. And then the second one is of his flying machine. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Was this, like, our starting armor? Or, no, that's the armor we're wearing now. The Mystic Leas armor. Then we have the metal armor, the... And then this was our leather armor. Alright, so I think... Yeah, and then this is the armor of Altair, which is the only thing we're missing at this point. So, so yeah, I think we're going to call it there. So with that, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time. And stay safe out there, and we'll see you then.